The city of Galveston, Texas is home to numerous tourist attractions, restaurants, bars, and clubs. There's an activity for people of all ages. However, the party scene is arguably the biggest source of entertainment on the island. With so many things to offer, it may seem strange that the island lacks one very popular service, Uber. Uber is a popular ride-sharing application that allows users to locate a driver nearby who can take them to any destination, all through their smartphone. Due to some discrepancies in terms of operation between Uber and the city of Galveston, the service has been shut down on the island. Some of these discrepancies include fingerprint-based background checks, ability for the city to set fares, and fees to operate within the city. Ross Sidman is a Houston resident who uses Uber to safely travel from Houston to Galveston for day trips. In an off-camera interview, Ross states, A lot of people who are here for the day just want a service that will arrive quickly and has someone friendly behind the wheel. Just like Ross, former Uber Galveston drivers would like to see the service offered on the island again. My name is Paul Zinti. I am 25. I am a former Uber driver for the city of Galveston and now currently an Uber driver for the city of Houston. When asked about his employment transfer from Galveston to Houston, Paul seemed more optimistic than other drivers. Galveston was a little more convenient for me, but I mean, Houston's more populated anyway, so I mean, it all kind of worked out, but it's just too bad the uh, city of Galveston and Uber people can come to an agreement or anything like that. Christy Thomas is a bartender at Fishtail's Restaurant and Bar and is a major advocate for Uber and its opportunity to give tourists a unique experience in Galveston. In an off-camera interview, she stated, I can't even begin to tell you how many people ask for Uber. It's cheaper than a cab, the drivers are typically more friendly, and most of the time you can get a great recommendation of where to go next because the drivers are all locals. You want to know if your driver is a, you know, a decent person or anything like that, not some just uh, some random weirdo. But, uh, I mean, uh, the people who use Uber know what they're getting into you know most uber drivers you know just independent people looking to earn some extra cash uh stuff for rent money stuff like that so just people like hey i can make a little extra money on the side which are all usually decent people brian Rivas is a bartender at float party pool and bar and also in an off-camera interview stated when uber was here i recommended it to every customer i served i've always believed it's a safe and really cool way to get around any city i'm inclined to think that it's being made more of a deal than it actually is like I think the cab companies are obviously just pissed off that they're getting you know their butts whooped in competition and uh, now they're trying to make all these changes you know keep ride sharing out of places and whatnot despite the standoff between Uber and the city of Galveston Galveston city officials say they wouldn't mind having the service back on the island and a written statement given by Galveston mayor pro term Terrellyn Tarleton stated we would love to extend ride-sharing services to people residing in or visiting Galveston. However, it will take time for us and the companies to come to level terms that we are comfortable with them operating within. When that will happen, no one is certain.